Hey guys, I'm Sydney Park. This is Kyla Kennedy. What's up guys, it's Frankie Grande. Hi, I'm John Murdy, creative director of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. We're here at Halloween Horror Nights. Is this your first time here? No, it is not. I've been here a couple years in a row. Well, I've been going for a while. <laughs> oh, veteran. I've been to every single one on both coasts. Oh my god. So what tips do you have for us first timers? Keep going. Like, you're going to be terrified at first, and then, you think, then you're like, oh, okay, it's not so bad, and then you just start laughing. It's so much fun. It's the most fun night of my life. I just keep going. Bring depends. Uh, don't poop on yourself. Bring a good group of people. Uh, if you're on a date with a guy, make sure you are really comfortable with him because you just might accidentally knock him out if you get scared. Or, but it's, it's really fun. Just be prepared to have a lot of fun. Just you got to do it. I mean, there's going to be a maze and you're going to look at the outside and go, I can't do it. It's impossible. But once you go through and you kind of get used to it, you're going to be like, it's amazing. Because each maze here, like, the inside is so much more than what you could expect, you know, with the details and the characters. They're always so much fun. Um, what's your favorite maze here that they have? Ooh, I'm a little biased because um, I'm on the I'm on the show, but I love the Walking Dead maze. I was pretty impressed by it. I, I went like a couple months ago, and I was just it was really surreal and cool. Yeah. <sighs> Gosh. Um. I think the Walking Dead one is probably really cool. That's one of my favorites. That one always gets me the most. It's usually insidious. I'm excited for the new ones to find out what it is. What's it going to be? You know, because I mean, I have to, I'm very critical. I take notes. I usually vlog about it. So I'm very excited about it. What goes into something like this? Because everybody looks forward to it every single. It's like making, you know, half a dozen movies at the same time because the same dip disciplines come into play. You know, the sets are like movie quality and the people who are building the sets are actually the same people who are building the sets on the lower lot, you know, for movies and television shows. The people on our prop team, they're all movie and TV prop people. Our makeup artists and, you know, all the talented people that do makeup for us, you know, when they're not working for us, they're working on movies and television shows and music videos. So it's about trying to create movie quality haunted attractions that feel like you're living your favorite horror property whether it's a television show or a movie and what goes into choosing which ones make it this year or next year yeah I mean I listen a lot to our fans you know our fans aren't shy I run Twitter for Horror Nights every single day they're telling me what movie they just saw or television show they just saw that they think should be amazed at Horror Nights so you just try to listen really closely to our fan base so we can keep our fingers on the pulse of horror um, and it's always a combination of contemporary properties like this year obviously American Horror Story Ash versus Evil Dead, you know, we're doing new mazes with those. Uh, those are both, you know, TV shows that are current, um, but also classic properties too. Freddy versus, you know, Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, Titans of Terror. We have all three of those characters in one maze. There's probably a lot of fans coming to the event tonight who weren't even born when those movies came out, but they're more popular than they've ever been. And the same thing's true of The Shining, you know, so it's always a combination of classic properties, maybe some cult kind of niche properties that are, you know, the fan bases are really obsessed with, and a mix of contemporary properties too, and properties that haven't even come out. You know, we're doing Happy Death Day and the Horrors of Blumhouse Maze. That doesn't even come out till October 13th. We're doing uh, Saw that has scenes from the new Saw movie that hasn't come out yet. We're doing a new Insidious Maze that's heavily based on the new Insidious movie. That one doesn't even come out this year. It comes out in January. So it's, it's cool for horror fans to get to experience their favorite franchises and upcoming movies that they haven't even seen yet. And what would you say is your favorite maze? I never have a favorite have a until favorite. the end of the event. Yeah, yeah, because if I say I have a favorite, then all the other mazes will be like, oh, you know. So, um, you know, they're all kind of my equal little babies. And um, what goes into this stuff that fans don't get to necessarily see inside? Oh, just a tremendous amount of work, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's no exaggeration to say we work on this 365 days a year. In fact, even though, you know, I was here last night till 2 in the morning finishing everything and lighting and audio and effects and just doing last looks and dialing everything in, but at the same time, you know, and then in the morning I'm taking meetings on next year. You know, I'm already talking to filmmakers, I'm talking to studios about what properties we want to feature next year. Uh, and that process will begin before we're even done.